So we're just going to uh, have a look today at the PicoChat forum and uh, go and do an example in Smart Carve. So um, in Facebook PicoKit, you can click the link to PicoChat and uh, you'll see uh, we've, this is a brand new forum. So um, we haven't got much in here at the moment, but feel free to contribute. Um, laser cutting how to's and we're going to look at a couple types of etching well in this video we're going to look at a special type called net which is a type of dithering which uh, has this large and small dot pattern and um, so we're going to have a look uh, on the uh, avenger or on the stingray um, what are some good settings for a 25 watt laser so um so you'll see in here image settings net equals check gray equals 256 and we've got an xy scale of 0 0.02 which is our 1270 dpi they're the image settings that we need to set and uh, the layer settings that we're going to use are a maximum power of 55 and a speed etching speed of 400. so uh, let's pop over to um, google search because there's a couple other things in here so today's tip examples you can use are rendered 3d or pencil sketches because they turn out really nice but you don't want the watermarks in there so um i've put in this uh example um that you can copy we'll see um we can paste in there and you'll see that i've got a lot of dash shutterstock dash one two three rf uh all of those minor symbols mean that we're going to have less of these watermarks okay so there's another one minus clip art of dot com so um so you could type in there your own so if i type in minus clip art of um space and put that in the middle that should get rid of um those ones there and it did there's another one photo search so you can type that in so you can see that's how i found this hope key which is a pretty good example um there's another one success but it's got a black background okay so uh so what you really want to do is try to get images with a white background in in the same example actually you don't you don't have to put in gold key of course you can put in a good car a ford mustang <laughs> Okay, so I'll just put a Mustang. I might get a horse, but uh, a rendered 3D Mustang. No, there's a lot of them. Okay, so that would etch quite nicely. Um, ones with a few highlights and a bit of shine would look pretty cool. Um, and uh, But obviously, uh, we could spend a whole video on just showing how to get rid of the background, but it's possible. Get rid of the background so it's nice and white in the background of some of these others would just look amazing. Um, and uh, the same sort of thing, um, if you didn't want a rendered 3D, you could put in um, pencil sketch or something like that. And we'll get some Mustang pencil sketches. So you can see some of those look absolutely fantastic. And of course, with the pencil sketches, there's less of those that actually have a colored background. So um, uh, yeah just you can find some amazing images there in either a pencil sketch or a rendered 3d image for etching so uh, let's take an example um, let's get a nice example this one looks pretty cool it's got a bit of contrast in it which is good um, so uh, so we can click on that just check that it's got a fairly good resolution so that's an 800 by 572 that's not too bad it does look a bit blurry so maybe they've blown that one up a bit um we could we could go for something else it's not as blurry has a bit more detail oh that's nice so let's try that one so if we um uh, you can visit the page or we can just right click and we can go save picture as we'll just save that in oh, just save it in downloads so gt 350 sr that one we'll go save and uh, now when we go to smart carve we can click on the image import image and um, so i'll go back to my downloads and i'll find that gt i'll just type in g there it is 
and I'll click open. So that's loaded in. Uh, that should look quite amazing. Now, um, one one thing when we have an image like that, we have to go through those settings. So leaving it at gray level 256, we're going to check a net. And for the 25 watt, we can put this all the way down to 0 0.02, um, which bumps our resolution up to 1270 thereabouts, I think it is. Uh, hit apply. Now you'll notice in SmartCup, it looks absolutely horrendous. We can certainly tell it's got that dithering effect, um, <laughs> but you'll see it's it's actually limited by the zoom. When you zoom in, it's got a whole lot more dots than you would actually realize. And it's the same um, when it's a preview on the laser cutter, you'll see the dotted effect quite clearly, um, but uh, but obviously you can see the text there and the, it's got quite a lot of resolution, even in the fan blades, you'll notice that when you zoom out, you can't make out that text at all, but that's fine. You know that's got the right settings. Um, now uh, for your 25 watt, I've, I've set this parameters. If you right click parameter library and uh, we load the laser dual. Uh, okay, so um, what we can do is select that image and we can double click on layer three. I think it is, we'll just click on okay there. Now, uh, layer three is saying it's a power of 50, 50 and 400. That's probably not too bad. But you can bump that up to the 55, 55. And we can go to the advanced tab also and make sure it's just laser one is on at 55, 55. And it's got this X double scan. That's all good. So, uh, so that is ready to etch. And you can actually do a preview. I'll just warn you that if you hit the wrong button in preview, it's uh, it can actually freeze the software. So before you preview, it is a good idea to save your work. But uh, if you press in this version of Smart Carve, if you press down and across, you'll see it etching. Now the preview is extremely slow because it's such a high resolution. What I can tell you is don't press exit, okay? Because that's gonna freeze it. So we can pause, pause continue. We can restart. Oh, we'll just pause continue and then um, we'll hit the X button and that should be fine. Okay, so now that we have that image, you might also want to do um, uh, a cut if you, or if you just want to etch that image on some timber. So say the image you want, um, we can lock the ratio and we can change that scale. So uh, say you want it um, 120 wide. It changes both the X and the Y together and we hit apply. So we've got our image the right size and say you have a piece of timber that you're going to do it on and you you can put in the size of that timber. So say it's um, 200 um, and it may not have the resolution locked. It might just be like a 200 by 120, something like that. Now um, we can put that object, press escape to select. Um, we can put that object in the corner using this put to origin. Now, if your timber is already cut to that size, um, don't leave it on layer one, double click layer six, and you'll see it's got an X on it, and um, it means it's not processing. It's uh, like a non-plot layer. And what that means is we can use that rectangle to align our object. Uh, it doesn't look central there at the moment, but we can use the um, align centers button and uh, then use that put to origin. And you'll see that now we've got the image in the center of the rectangle. So assuming we're not doing any cutting uh, and we're doing all the etching and processing, that's all happening from laser on the right. Anyway, I won't go any further there. Uh, if you are going to cut something, I'll put that in another video of how to line up the two lasers together. But uh, assuming you're just etching, that's pretty much it for setting up a very nice etch. Thanks for watching.